Hi there, it's Rachel, the outdoor witch. Here it's a very great day, it's been raining a lot and uh, there's not much we can do outside. And so also I just pop in because I know that this kind of day when it's super gloomy outside and you don't feel like doing much uh, can be really hard when you are suffering from binge eating or bulimia. So I thought I was just coming and uh, maybe give you some, some things to brighten up your day. Uh, and just a quick word before I start, I'm launching my coaching program for people who suffer from bulimia and binge eating disorders uh, along with purging. It's going to start on the 30th of August and I make an early price starting from July the 25th to August the 5th. So I put all the description in, um, uh, sorry, I put all the links in the description box below. So just go there if you want to get more information on this and you can always contact me uh, for personal coaching, private coaching if you prefer. Okay, so let's jump into today's topic. So I have a question for you. Why is it that you seem not to be able to stop the binge or the bulimic behavior? Why, when even you feel like, yeah, now I'm done, this is it, I got it, uh, I got a grip on myself and I'm not going to relapse again, I'm done with bulimia, I'm done with binge eating. And it lasts uh, about a, a few days, even maybe a week, and then whew, you're back into the same vicious cycle. So what is it? So I believe that if you are stuck in that kind of cycle, you might think that actually you're crazy. You don't have any control over yourself, that you have a problem that you need to be fixed. And uh, all the time you're like, oh, but how can I be so weak? What is it I just can't uh, keep control over myself, over my behavior? And uh, you feel like that you are totally out of control, that you can't control anything and that actually your life is just uh, out of control. I have something to tell you. Or maybe I'm going to put it this way. What if actually your brain was working so well that it's so much under control, it obeys you so well that it's what keeps you from recovering, that it's the reason why you keep being a bully. Let me give you a different perspective on bulimia. You are not crazy. There's nothing to be fixed with you. And you are totally in control of your mind and of your body. But it's only because you've been so good at training it to react in a certain way that now your mind, your brain, keep working even when you don't want that behavior anymore. It's been trained so well by you, even if you didn't know it, okay? We're clear about this. You were not aware that you were training it in a certain way. But now it's been so well trained that you keep repeating the behavior that is not serving you anymore. But you keep repeating it because you actually taught your brain to act this way. Bulimia is a coping behavior. Binge eating and purging as well. They are all side of a coping behavior behavior. It's the best way that you found at a certain time of your life to cope with some events that were happening in your life. They can be very various and we're not going to talk about this today. That will be the topic for another video because uh, there's a lot to talk about triggers and what uh, implemented this behavior in you. But even without knowing what the triggers were, it doesn't matter nowadays where you are right now. It is so well imprinted in your brain that now as soon as a trigger, the trigger or something very similar to that trigger come up, bing, it just get your brain into fire and it's just going to react the way it has been taught to. So now it works so well. You have to understand that coping behaviors is the only way that we have found at a certain point to keep us alive to stay alive, to survive a situation or another. It was the way, the best way we could figure out at that time to handle a situation. And the whole purpose of this coping behavior is to keep you alive, to keep you from the worst thing that could happen to you. And most of the time it's dying. So it's so strong that the impression on the brain is extremely strong as well. And that's why it works so well. And then now your subconscious mind is imprinted with this reaction. 
And it's a part of the brain that is called the reptilian brain. It's the one that kicks in when you need to, to stay alive, you, that, you, that turns you into survival mode. And so it's whenever a kind of trigger appears in your life or come into your life, bing, it's going to fire up that reaction from the reptilian brain. And so every time you try to go out to heal from bulimia, but without understanding that reaction, that physiological reaction of your own body, that you just can't resist the call of going back to binging and purging and overeating. You just can't stand that call because the impulse is so strong. Your brain is telling you, hey, come on, you have to act this way, otherwise you're going to die. That's why it's so, so strong and that we feel like we can't resist it. So you just have, in this video, I want you to get this, that it's not, there's nothing wrong with you. It's actually because you, your entire system, your entire, um, your body and brain are working so well that they try to keep you alive. And this way is no longer serving you. And there's definitely a way you can teach your brain to act differently. So for now, I want you to start paying attention in the next coming day. Every time you feel this urge to go and grab a bag of crisp or go and eat the entire chocolate boxes you have in your cupboard, I want you to be aware of the reaction in your body. Just be aware of where this impulse is. How do you feel it in your body? Because your brain is going to send signals to your body cells so you stand up and move. Your brain itself, and listen to me well, your brain itself cannot make you act. You have to consciously stand up and go open the fridge. And I'll make another video on that topic specifically. But now I just want to, you to be conscious, to start being aware of this impulse that you feel in your body and that you just can't resist and you feel like oh, I have to go I have to go and eat I can't I can't escape that I have to go and eat and then I have to go and purge I can't keep that food I have to go and purge otherwise I die I just want you to start being aware of that behavior because that's the beginning of your recovery and the final word and for this video and for today you don't need to wait to be completely healed from your family history, from all your childhood issues, or from all your unworthiness, uh, lack of uh, whatever confidence or anything to recover from bulimia. So it's two different things. You can heal from bulimia, you can totally recover from it, and still have tons of things to solve in own your family behaviors or issues or whatever um, in your own past or whatever you want to solve um, in the personal growth area. But these are, these are two different things. So once you're aware that your brain acts in a way that has been automated and that you don't need to wait until you've sorted your entire life out before you can recover from bulimia, you're on the way to recovery. So that was my word for you today. I hope it helps somehow. Leave some comments below. And, uh, and uh, I wish you a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next video.